one Concorde captain to another, though he's flying a very different type of aircraft today. Ken Snell, that's him on the far side, has a day job with British Airways. His other love is the Vickers Vimy. In fact, this is a replica Vimy completed two years ago at a cost of more than half a million pounds. Designed as a bomber, a Vimy flown by Alcock and Brown became the first aircraft to cross the Atlantic in 1919. This one is owned by an American banker, Peter McMillan. It's already been to Australia. Later this year, Ken will be taking it to Cape Town. But the Vimy's flight turned out to be quite eventful. Just after takeoff, Ken reported that he had an engine problem and appeared to be losing height. The Vimy turned back and flew a low circuit. Uh, we don't wait to land uh, on the hard with the services standing by. The landing itself was uneventful, most of the crowd unaware that anything was wrong. But then Ken had to summon willing hands to push the aircraft back to its hangar. Clearly something was seriously amiss. Well, we were climbing out quite normally with full power on both engines and suddenly there was a slight power loss on the right engine and uh, rather a a wise move, I think, just to continue and fly a normal circuit and land the airplane back on the runway and uh, make sure everything's normal. Um, really wasn't uh, worth taking any risks to complete the display. I'd rather just get the airplane back on the ground. Could you have flown her on one engine? Just about, yeah. The airplane will maintain height on one engine, uh, but it's a big struggle and the, uh, the air is particularly hot today, so it would have been very hard work. Uh, the right engine picked up again and uh, I thought, right, continue fly a circuit and get the airplane on the ground. In fact, Ken, in his typically modest way, had played down a very serious incident. Later, he admitted that he'd decided to land in a field when the engine picked up just enough to get him back to the runway. These pictures from our onboard camera clearly show the revs dropping on the right engine. But look at this, just after landing, the left engine fails too and couldn't be restarted. It was all put down to problems with the fuel pumps. Hopefully it'll be all right before they head off for Cape Town later in the year.